ladies and gentlemen. I am working on a 2001 Pontiac Grand Prix and um, I've been working on these lately and I've come across this uh, fuel connection right here. If you touch it or move it just the slightest amount, it will actually leak fuel down on the intake manifold. So I'm coming through and I'm trying to find a solution um, other than replacing all of the fuel lines here or uh, purchasing the kit to reseal these which is like 600 bucks so um, my theory is I'm going to try to see if I could pull out whatever's inside this piece here and see if I can get this fixed all right so in order to pull this out you press on the plastic tab right here on each side you squeeze it in and then you lift up on this I have a pick turn this over to the side here stick this pick in here and there you'll pull see this piece out here so the groove part of it actually goes it will go in like like uh, uh, it's hard to see but it'll go in like this now I will take my pick looks like there's o-rings in there some o-rings there's another o-ring so we'll want to make sure we keep track of the order that those go in I'll show you a picture of the order and uh, I'm gonna see if I can replace those o-rings So I went into the parts store and I found some o-rings that match the size of the o-rings that I pulled out. So you have two rubber o-rings and then you have like a plastic spacer that goes on them. Uh, the o-ring that I purchased, part number 408 and it is a Fell Pro o-ring. I purchased a lot of them because I have a friend that has three of these vehicles with this motor. and it all three of them leak on this back side so i purchased the all that the store had in stock just so i could fix all the cars so here i have this i'm going to reinstall these this orange one i'm reusing the the o-ring that i pulled out um because it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it it's not soft it's not it doesn't seem fragile or anything so i'm going to reinstall this o-ring then i'm going to reinstall the plastic uh, flat spacer there and then I'll put my new o-ring in and we'll see if this is gonna leak so first we will take the orange o-ring I have to force this line over I don't want it to I'm set the o-ring in there just poking it down with my finger then I'm gonna take this plastic fitting which I don't know how you would replace that piece so if if you lost it or damaged it. And then I will take my new O-ring here. That is the Fell Pro 408 O-ring. I'm just using my pinky to line it up in there. And the last part is you'll take your plastic clip. It has, if you look closely on it, it has a groove on the on it. Um, the groove will be closest to you. So um, I apologize, it's very difficult to see. Um, oh, you can see it sort of with the shadow there. But that groove will be uh, closest to me, so I'm going to push this in there. And it feels like it just sort of snapped in there. Next, you can take these plastic clips that are right on the fuel rail there. You can actually replace that plastic clip if you choose to. I did buy new ones. Um, they just have them in store. I'll share the part number with you. Uh, there's two different sizes. Let's see if I could position this. Just show that it is not going to leak. Alright, maybe that 
that'll work. I'll go ahead and start the car here. So there you have it. That there fixed this fuel leak on the rail. Um, I will share the part number that I used and I will show, I'll uh, post a picture of the order of the gaskets. I bet you could replace both gaskets and then just uh, reinstall that plastic ring that goes in here. It looks like a spacer. Um, you could probably, the gaskets look to be the same size and the outside diameter or inside diameter of this fitting in here. Uh, the gasket fit in very nicely. And there is no play in this. There was quite a bit of play earlier. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for future videos. Thank you very much for watching.